Good afternoon, Cardinals. My name's Caleb. I'm Rolla. And I'm Ricky. Auditions for the play, Just in the Nick of Time, a Detective Red Mistletoe Mystery, are Monday, November 27th, the Monday after Thanksgiving at 2.45 in the auditorium. The show is a perfect holiday fair for kids and their families. If you have questions, see Miss High in room 004. Reminder, trimester one ends November 30th. Please remember to renew your trimester two parking permit by December 1st. You can, you can stop in the finance office for the form or register online. All parking tickets and fines must be paid to get a parking permit. If you do not have a parking permit, you must park in the $2 parking lot. Do not park in the tennis court lot or the staff parking lot near the main entrance. Upcoming college tours. Thursday, December 14th, we'll be touring in Oka Ramsey Community College and North Hennepin Community College. Please see Ms. Mishula's in the Career Center, room 212, to get a permission slip. Or if you have any questions, space is limited. High school conditioning offered. Who? High school students currently in grades 9 through 12. What? After school strength and conditioning sessions. When? Mondays through Thursdays, 2.40 to 4 p.m., four days a week. Winter session is Monday through Thursday, November 27th through March 7th. Spring session Monday through Thursdays, March 19th through May 31st. Where? Coon Rapids weight room, basement of CRHS. Why? To learn proper introductory lifting and efficient running techniques. We'll see you there. Yeah. Students can sign for the ACT for free in Naviance. Students need to log into Naviance and on the home page there's a link called Naviance Test Prep. Excellent tool for studying to improve your ACT score. There will be a senior meeting in the auditorium during Cardinal Corps on November 28th. The meeting will begin at 8.45 and last until 9.30. This is the meeting where you will be where you will order your cap and gown. If you have PSEO or STEP, you will have two options. One, by texting the word SENIOR to 25827. You'll receive a text message back with a link that takes you to the online registration form. Otherwise, seniors can also access this form directly by going using their web browser, here's the direct link to the form. HTTP colon backslash backslash www.gradsmn.org backslash cap dash gown dash form. If you have any questions, please contact Mr. Scott at 763-506-7120. Date two for Monday, November 20th. Welcome back down here to the Cardinal Kitchen, and today for your dining pleasure, we have one of my favorites, the Mandarin Orange Chicken, and then on the specialty line, it's gonna be the French Bread Cheese Pizza. Also wanted to send out a reminder that when you uh, get sandwiches on the hot sandwich line, the hamburgers, cheeseburgers, that thing, um, potato does not come with the pizzas. So we're having a lot of kids taking the potato with the pizza. If you take the potato with the pizza, or in this case, the French bread cheese pizza, um, it is an extra 50 cents and you need to have that in your, your lunch account or in your hand when you do that. Hope to see you down here and hope you have a great day. Thanks. Are you gonna come in on my next one? To see the relationship between animal and carer in a single frame was very relevant for people out there to actually care. Here in Zimbabwe, we are proud to save the pangolins. Every day with my friends, we protect the animal. We walk them, we feed them, we protect them like our children. The pangolin is the most trafficked mammal in the world. There are eight species, four in Asia and four in Africa, and more than a million have been illegally hunted and killed in the last decade alone. In Zimbabwe, the Tiki Highwood Trust is devoted to rehabilitating pangolins rescued from poachers. And photographer Adrian Stern was lucky enough to be granted access to their work. I'd always wanted to document the relationship that these men had with these animals. And I think once I was afforded that opportunity, I wanted to come in and shoot something very, very different. There are two sets of photos. Essentially, there's the, the reportage photos of what I saw in front of me, of how these men interact. And then I wanted to shoot portraits of these men, take very beautiful portraiture that would, I think, hopefully affect people would make people sit up and watch and listen and think, what is that animal? What's happening here? And that was what I set out to do. It was something that I thought I could make a difference with.
So when I first saw a pangolin, I first saw the relationship that these men had with these animals. It was beyond extraordinary. A little prehistoric creature that in that moment is completely reliant on that handler. Every single day of the year, these guys go out, ensure that those animals are fed to make their weight so they can be released back into the wild. I was very, very, very fortunate to get the access that I did. And they are so highly traded and they're so endangered that everything they do is covert. Adrian is hoping that his work will bring attention to the most endangered animal that many people have never even heard of. I think if people learn what a pangolin is from these images, then we're moving in the right direction. I hope that people learn to care that little bit more, not just about pangolin, but about our planet. Show these photos to your children. Let them have a look at them. Let them ask questions. Feel good knowing that you have the answers. And in doing that, we've educated the next generation. And that's all we can do.